Sí. Hi, I just need to come and quickly apologize for the fact that you can literally see my nipples in the thing called the thumbnail and through this entire video and now I don't know why because I promise in real life when I look in the mirror or anything, I cannot see my nipples. But I was just looking back at the video and you can see my nipples and through the thumbnail. Sorry. And yes, I could have most likely retaking the photo in a different top but I'm too freaking lazy to do that because I don't think way too much effort so I apologize I'm gonna let you sit through the boring outro now and get something to apologize bye hi Today I'm going to do my natural basic, pretty much all, nearly all glossier makeup. So, makeup that I've been wearing for like the last couple of days for school and that. So I thought I'd do a video based on that makeup. Because most of the products that I'm going to be using, I blend in with my fingers. I have already washed my hands before coming on camera so they're nice and clean. So I don't get any dirt on my face. And I also have my wipes right by me. So if I get anything on my fingers, I can just wipe it off ready to use the next product. So I'm going to start with Maridescu Rose Water Face Spray. And nearly all the products that, a couple of the products that I'm using like the Rose Water Face Spray, plus you do have, but that one's a bit more expensive, that one's like £15 and this is an 8 no 7 and I just prefer it's got to be easy to pull and I don't like it and they also have a priming of moisturiser which I do want to try and um, a sunscreen I do want to try the sunscreen and moisturiser but I just ain't got around to ordering them yet so I'm just starting with a bit of moisturiser just not in that everywhere I'm just going to thin load of this because this sunscreen is pretty thick. This is just from Boots. I think that's meant to be a lot better by the Glossier one compared to like this. And with sunscreens it's clear so it doesn't have like a whiteness to it and it's a lot less very fragrant so it's better. Obviously, I'm quite sensitive to fragrances, and it's SPF 30. I mean, this one's only SPF 15, I think, so um, it's pretty low, so I don't really do that much, really. Then I'm gonna take 
the skin tint from Glossier in light. If you want, I could probably use it if I have a tan too because it is so sheer and there's practically no coverage at all. You wouldn't even notice. So I just do a, a bit on my cheeks and on my face. I do recommend if you're not going to use it every day, you're going to use it just on occasions. Shake it before you use it because one thing because I started using this for a few months and then it kind of separates so you just need to shake it a bit before using it just to make sure that like the water and the product don't separate from each other because that's what happened in mine I think and then just blend it around this so don't really have coverage, it just evens out the skin tone a bit. The concealer has a bit more coverage, but before I do that, I'm gonna do my lips, my lip balm and stuff. I'm gonna start with e.l.f. coconut lip screw. My lips are really dry, so they go flaky. So and then I'm just putting a bit of Vaseline on. Just some more stories. Then. And then I'm going to take the stretch concealer which is also in light and this provides a little bit more coverage in the skin tint and I take my ring finger this is meant to be the best finger to use for blending in concealer and I'll just put this wherever I need a bit more coverage I don't know my eyes a bit on my nose and around my nose I'm just concealing but then I do take another concealer for any spots or areas where that concealer I need to coverage for. So just a bit on my chin where I've got a spot, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this sweet concealer and just blend that in with my finger also. Makeup so easy because you don't even need any makeup brushes or anything to do it with, you just need your fingers. So, I'm gonna leave my face for now and do my eyebrows. So, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a brow pencil before I take the boy brow just to fill in my brows a bit because they're a bit rubbish, to be honest. Mostly at the end of my brow, at the arch is where I really need to go on this. Pencil.
Looks like that does have a bit more of an arch in my brow. Obviously, if your eyebrows are a lot better than mine, you probably won't need to do Because they're natural brows, it don't matter as so much if they don't look as even because nobody's brows are naturally like perfectly even. I need to at the front just like that just so I my eyebrows are a bit more visible and then I'm gonna go with my boy brow in Brian I think I have to go break from this makeup. Like when I dyed my like dark dark brown, it's still quite dark, but it is slightly lighter. It's like more of my natural uh, color now than it was before. That was like almost black. So it is a lot lighter now. So I can. I need to get away with more natural brows. With that, uh, I think <coughs> even this colour was a bit too light from my hair. Because it just kind of looked off. Now I'm going to do eyeshadow. I'm going to use cream. So I don't have a pink lid star. And it will cup. It's like a rose gold pink. And moon, which is meant to be like. A nice little corner highlight and also use it on my face but i don't have that i do have this however so i'm just gonna use this for my lids this is the color fx shimmer veil in magic it just looks like this and then in my crease well not my crease like on the outer part of my lid i'm gonna use fawn from glossier which is a taupe color And these are really easy to blend out. This is also very shimmery. So it's very good as like a base. For if you're doing like a pink glitter look or something. Or well, you want like your shimmer eyeshadows too look a bit more brighter and pop a bit more so it has a nice sort of pink sheen to the lid and now I'm gonna take form And just take this on the outer part of my lid. It's great, like all these glossy air products. Is that because they're so natural? You can easily build them up to look a bit more intense because they are so 
just so slight and more tints and like full colour. You can easily build them up if I am looking too much or cakey, which is really great. As you can tell, it just looks really subtle. This eyeshadow is probably the most like giveaway point that is not like my skin. I was like the only giveaway point is the eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna take my cloud paint in dust. It's a tiny dot of this is on the back of my hand. You don't need a lot of this. So I go upwards and I do it a bit of a bronzer too. I take it on my apples and I also dot it like where I would usually contour and balance. And I just take my finger with that. And I'll show you in a minute um, if you mess up and put a bit too much on like me. For instance, you can easily like correct it. And I also put a bit of that on my nose. Looks a bit more natural because you know it's got something and from the heat and everything to as well as your cheeks. I feel, I feel like it looks a bit more natural. Some people don't like blusher on the nose. I think it looks really cute and really subtle. And then I wipe it straight off my hand there and then because otherwise it's a bit tougher to get off because it's the driest. Now I'm going to show you how to correct it. It don't look that bad on camera, but it's just a bit too like pink in some bits. So in those bits I just take my stretch concealer. I just uh and then it just looks normal again. This cheek went all right the first time. I feel like the first cheek that you always do goes a bit wrong at first, but then. You saw how easy it was then just to go in and correct that. Now I'm going to take Holoscope. Heroscope, Holoscope, who cares? And Quartz. And then it has the balm in the centre, which really helps. You can tell it's just like a wet look highlighter. I'm going to try and find my normal highlighter for comparison of how subtle this highlighter is compared to my normal one. This ain't my normal one but it's one that I use a bit. Like look at that. They actually look pretty similar. That's the powder one. Now you can see that on my skin like it don't look subtle you can tell that it's clearly highlighter but this it just makes you look like your skin's really glowy and i just like to warm it up on the back of my hand just so it's a bit more i don't know Because then the product comes off a lot easier. Like, look, that was literally like one to two swipes, and yeah, just went on. I 
of it there. It just looks really subtle and dewy. Rather than being like a blinding highlight. I also take some above my eyebrows. Some people don't like highlighted forehead, I do because I just feel like it just makes you look a bit more oily but in a good way. If that's possible. I think the sad thing about and then so then my finger from blending out or well, that's on the back of my end from me opening it there I just put on the inner corners of my eyes and then finally lips I just wipe off my lip balm and then I take the Generation G lipstick in the colour Leo it's this really nice brownie moon it's really natural and it's really close to my lip colour so it just looks like my lips were better put it on like that and then I just go in with my finger just to blot it I'm blotting it just makes it look a bit more like it's just my lips And then I do go in with a bit more Maradesco Rose Water Face Spray because I love it. And it just adds with the glow, you know. And this is... The makeup. this top from a brand new mail by the way and yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed give it a thumbs up if you did and comment i don't know comment <laughs> and so subscribe and I'll see you very, 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 very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.